Don't worry, it's a natural process and you'll be fine in a few days. What happened? Um, you know, it's that time of the month. What time? Um, you know, something that girls go through and boys can't understand. Oh. All right, I think finally the time has come that we openly speak about the menstruation cycle. Mm, menstru? What's that? Well, let me explain in detail. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us educate ourselves about this monthly biological phenomenon we call the menstruation cycle by answering a vital question. How and why do girls get periods? Zoom in. So, what are these painful tummy cramps we call periods? In simple terms, periods, also known as the menstrual cycle, are the time in a girl's life when their uterus naturally releases the blood out of their body through their genitals. But the vital question is, why does it happen? Well, as we know, during puberty, our body begins to go through many changes like getting acne, change in voice, body hair, etc. This is the body's way of letting you know that you are leaving childhood and entering adulthood for reproduction. So, as a part of this natural growing up process, somewhere between the age of 8 to 15, the girls start to feel a major transformation in their ovaries that begins to release a hormone called estrogen to help them prepare for future reproduction. How? Let me explain that in detail. You see, the two ovaries in the female's body contain thousands of tiny sacs called the follicles that contain one unfertilized egg each. Then in the process called ovulation, the most mature egg from one of the ovaries bursts out of the follicle. Then it moves along the fallopian tube and reaches the uterus. Over there, this egg then embeds itself on the endometrium lining in the process called implantation. But since this egg can't be turned into a baby, the endometrium lining full of blood and nutrients doesn't feel the need to supply the resources to this unfertilized egg. So in the next five to seven days, the girl's body starts to get rid of this unwanted stuff by breaking down the thick endometrium lining of the uterus into smaller tissues and then expels it out along with some blood via the genital opening just to start over the entire process again that sets the path for the continuance of the human race. So, here we go. Now we know what happens to a girl's body during their period. But remember my friends, a period is an entirely natural process and there is nothing impure, gross or embarrassing about it. Also, people who go through it generally experience a nerve-wracking pain that can last up to five whole days. So if you see any of your friends bleeding and going through this monthly cycle of pain, understand them, be kind to them and if possible, help them by providing sanitary pads, pain relieving medicines or best, take them to the comfort of their homes. Trivia time! Did you know, other than women, a few female species of mammals 
like monkeys, apes, bats and even elephant shoes go through menstruation too? Also, a girl usually loses 2 to 3 tablespoons of blood during the whole cycle. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out. Hmm, never mind.